Good evening. Um, this is the Amenia Town Board meeting of August 15th, 2024. Are you guys just now getting started? Yeah, we're just starting. Come on. Just starting. No, we have to actually talk about him first. We're, we're not. Yes, we are talking about him first. Now it's all on, on TV, though. Um, well, we'll have to edit that out. Um, in any event, um, we are uh, going in, I move that we go into executive session to discuss some personnel matters. I'll second. So we all have the Supervisor Blackman? Yes. Council members Rebelard? Yes. Cam? Yes. Ahern? Yes. And let the record reflect that Councilman Winters is absent. Okay. Uh, welcome to the uh, August 15th meeting of the Amenia Town Board. Um, I would like to move that we uh, go out of exec, we sort of end executive session and open the public part of the meeting. I second it. Supervisor Blackman? Yes. Council members Winters? Yes. Rebelard? Yes. Pam? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we'll start by saluting the flag. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. That was vacation. Really good. And emergency exits, for those of you who've forgotten, are that door that you came in and this door over here. Okay. Um, anyone have a public comment this evening? We're going to be out of here in like 15 minutes. That's Excellent. Crazy. Paid life. Okay. When I was here a month um, ago, we did really well. All right. Well, okay. So no public comment. Thank you all. Um, so I'm going to do the supervisor's report, which I think is in your packages. Today's 15th, right? Yeah, there we go. The all right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did those get handed out? Because if not, I... I have one. You have one? Does everyone have one? The agenda? Okay. No, 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 no. I have one, but I just wanted to... I didn't... Oh, no. That's not it at all. But I do have one. I thought they were all clipped together here. They are all clipped together here. Sorry if you kids can pass these around. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, you have one. No, no I don't. No, don't. Okay. So, um, so like news one? from yeah, news from the supervisor. Um, so I was away last week. So I'm, uh, there may be other exciting things that I don't know about. But Rosanna Ham took very good care of the town and uh, updated me on things that did happen. Um, unfortunately, we had another water main break today. Um, this one was at the top of at the top of Depot Hill. Um, when I got there at 10 this morning, the highway crew had already arrived and they were blocking off the road. And our water operator, VRI, sent two trucks uh, that arrived just after. Stanley Whitehead was called to dig and expose the broken pipe. He got there around noon. Because our previous uh, operator had not maintained the shutoff valves, uh, the whole system had to be turned off for two hours to make repairs. Um, but it was all operational again by 3 p.m. Uh, the good news is that we have water engineers, uh, Delaware, who are doing a complete review of the system to make priorities for the most needed repairs. Now we know that having shut off valves on the lines, uh, many of ours were completely full of sand or had rusted out. Um, that's obviously going to be something we have to do soon. Um, and uh, when we uh, get our new website, we'll be able to contact everyone by text uh, if we have the situation again. Uh, people will need to sign up for that, but we're not quite at that point yet. But it is sort of frustrating in a situation like this, not being able to reach everyone. Um, on the sidewalk to Beekman Park, um, because uh, well, I explained this last time, but we've hired LaBella, who are our engineers for the project, to revise their drawings as New York State DOT requested um, so it can get approved and finally constructed. It's been very frustrating because it was supposed to start this spring. Um, the Maplebrook Crosswalk, Rosanna may have more to say about this later, but she had a video call with the staff from New York State DOT this morning to try and get <coughs> flashing lights installed to improve safety for the students at Maplebrook. Um, she's very frustrated by their response, um, which means they need to do traffic studies, and they said it would likely take five years until they get installed if they're installed by the NY, New York State DOT, which was very frustrating. So I'm going to call our state senator 
uh, tomorrow and see if she can pry something loose because the combination of the delays on Beekman Park and the Maple Brook Crosswalk, either DOT is significantly underfunded or over, I don't know, or overextended. So I'd like to sort of uh, see if I can do something about that because it's really frustrating to me too. Um, the town site, town website, we're invest investigating potential vendors and costs. The LED message board, um, the board will discuss the subject tonight ahead of the resolutions. We didn't have anything under discussion, but I think that's important to discuss. Uh, planning and zoning board, we're hoping to replace the AV equipment in this room by the end of the year. Uh, ambulance service, the two town supervisors and their attorneys will begin contract negotiation from Northern Duchess Paramedics. I believe it's Tuesday morning this week. Um, Highway employees, we have a meeting scheduled uh, next week also with the union rep from UPSEU about their new contract. Uh, we have, we're being represented by our labor attorney. Um, on the highway garage, last meeting we opened the proposals from the seven engineering firms and hope to make a selection at the next meeting. That means all of us actually have to look at them. Um, and we will also get comments from our town engineer and no doubt Charlie will make a spreadsheet from all that. Um, the gymnasium floor, uh, we know that the contractor wasn't available to work in the fall, but we'll get in touch with him to establish a schedule of work. Um, NECC, um, I found out that the reason they haven't opened a satellite office is that our lawyer hasn't responded to their lawyer about the details of the contract. So poor Ian, who is on vacation this week, and that's why he's not here tonight, is going to get a lot of stuff on his plate on Monday morning. Um, uh, just reminding myself to do that. Um, there was a bee crisis in my absence. <laughs> Apparently, um, Rosanna, uh, Rosanna told me that a bunch of bees had built a nest in a crack in the brick parapet at Town Hall. I mean, the parapet is over there. And she contacted the exterminator, and he suggested after he sprayed or dusted uh, with environmentally safe chemicals that was in his contract, um, that uh, we cut back some of the hydrangea vine because it had sort of hidden it. In other words, people didn't know where they were coming from. It might have been discovered sooner. So I met with our landscaper, Jaime Chalk, and asked him to limb up some of the trees around Town Hall for better visibility and safety. Dawn's been complaining on an almost weekly basis uh, for two years now about that not having been done. So um, I spoke to him to get a price for doing that work. So that's the story. Number 11, um, can you just read your second sentence? Oh my God, I didn't read it all, thank you. God, good thing you're here, Nicole. Okay, so um, I also wanted to thank Jake and Francisco who were two um, interns this summer. Um, one worked at Beekman Park and the other worked at the planning office. Took Francisco a while to get started, but uh, he's apparently was very helpful and Jake is uh, very much liked by his coworkers. Um, and we didn't have to pay anything for that because uh, NECC gets donations to, uh, uh, for their salaries. So they were paid through donations to NECC. Anyway, we appreciate their enthusiasm and assistance. Thank you, Nicole, for pointing that, reminding me of that. Okay, on with the meeting. I think it's probably gonna be Dawn Marie. Um, yes, I, I have noted the greenery in the front of the building that needed a little trimming for two years. <laughs> so this evening uh, for the town clerk's report, we have our previous meeting minutes of July 18th and August 1st. Uh, sorry for the late circulation. I was just waiting on a missing report, which was able to get inserted before the meeting, so we were able to amend, uh, get that corrected. Uh, have you guys had the opportunity to review? Yes. And are yes. we ready to go ahead and accept? Yes. 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 Okay. I can't make a motion. I'll make a motion. A motion. Oh, Paul. And then <coughs> you want to? I'll second. Nicole, second. Both of those minutes. Yes. Sure. Okay. So, Supervisor Blackman. Yes. Council Members Winters. Yes. Rabelard. Yes. Ham. Yes. yes. Ahern. Yes. Great. Thank you. Also presenting this evening the abstract to pay the, our claims totaling one hundred ninety-four thousand nine hundred thirty-one dollars and eighty-eight cents, and the breakdown is as follows: General Fund A. $106,751.93. Highway Fund, $76,495.55. Amenia Lighting, $1,211.25. Wasake Lighting, $459.99. 
Amino water, and which the reason why there's two because there's prepaid and non-prepaid. It's $3,570.50 uh, $3, and $6,442.66 for a total, again, totaling $194,931.88. And at this time, I'm seeking authorization for the supervisor to pay claims as for the <coughs> Has to be somebody else. So move. Oh, someone other than the you supervisor. should, because yeah. we're telling you. Somebody want to give Leo permission to pay those oh, bills? Sure. Sure. <laughs> Is that you, you, Nicole? Nicole. Yes. You can make that for me? Um, yes, make that motion for you. I'll second. Supervisor Blackman? Uh, yes. Council members Winters? Yes. Revelard? Yes. Pam? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Also this evening, I'm presenting with regret the resignation of Katie Stark Grassi from our, uh, as our rec director, effective August 22nd. Which is the end of next week. I'll Which make is motion to accept that with regret. So if anybody's interested in recreation here in Armenia. No. 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 I second. Pam. We can't do that yet? Not yet. Mm -hmm. Supervisor Blackman. Uh, yes. Council members um, Winters. Yes. Rebelard. Yes. Pam. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Um, I'm also privy to the information that you guys have had the opportunity to interview a candidate for an open um, volunteer position. Have you guys made a decision on making that appointment? I, I make a motion have. that we appoint Juan Torres as um, to the housing board. I'll second that. Supervisor Blackman. Yes. Council members Winters. Yes. Rebelard. Yes. Pam. Yes. Ahern. Yes. Okay, and also circulating um, in our packets this evening, acknowledging receipts is our building department report showing the number of municipal searches, fire inspections, and total number of building permits issued. And their total department income was $10,265.50. Also in our packet, he did circulate our violation report. Uh, prior to the meeting, you guys did receive the balance sheets and your operating statements. Yes. And with that said, uh, that concludes the town clerk's report. Okay, terrific. Mm -hmm. um, do we have any other uh, committee reports this evening? Is anyone here to present? Mm -hmm. Looks like no. We may get out at 7.30. <laughs> Budgies will still be open. Mm -hmm. um, okay, um, I want to have a brief discussion about the LED sign that, that, uh, that was presented last time. Uh, my, uh, my, I want to get a sense of the board of whether you thought it was worth taking uh, next steps, worth worth pursuing that and getting more information. So I was not here last time, oh, but right. I am 100% behind this idea of an LED sign here. That's um, been the biggest complaint that I've heard Me too. over the past three or four years from this community is they have no clue what's going on. And it would be nice if there was a nice little sign out there as they drive by, they could see it. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it's long overdue. I mean, other than, um, I mean, conceptually, yes, but, you know, we have to crunch the numbers on this a bit more to really make it happen. I think there, I've seen some information. I've gotten some information, and I think that once we get all the numbers together, yeah, this should be, I mean, today's a perfect example. We had a water main break, you know, could have flashed on the board. People would have known what's uh, going on. It, it, there, there's, we got yeah. problem last year, the rec commission got issued a, a summons or a complaint for having our, our sandwich board out there announcing. In a, front of town hall? Yeah, a program that was coming up. Well, I mean, our, our town laws can be a little misinterpreted, uh, weird and, and people can be very catchy. Yeah. Not anyone, not anyone watching, of course. You know, it it's just didn't make sense to me that there was a law that said that we can't put a sandwich board down there to announce a project. That's no, coming. I agree. I think Do it's you, something that yeah, we should look right. into. Rosanna, I, I agree 100. percent Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, we'll get more information on that. I just didn't want to do that because we didn't have a chance last time to uh, to discuss it. Okay, resolutions. 94. 94, thank you. Okay, I'll take the first one because it looks really long. Um, but maybe it's not the longest. Okay, 94, ratifying proposal for engineering services to conduct a phase one environmental review in connection with the donation of land and kilns situated thereon from Apollo Game Preserve LLC. So we've talked about this at great length, but this is the, um, what were the Gridley uh, 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 kilns for uh, creating charcoal to run their, uh, their iron operation. Um, and uh, I know that 
that our attorney Ian has been working with them for an incredibly long time to, uh, to try to work out an agreement which apparently has several parts. We're, we're approving two of them hopefully tonight and uh, I'll actually read it now. Okay, where is the town of Amenia Town Board by resolution number 91 of 2024, adopted on August 1st, 2024, authorized the acceptance of a donation of 0.29 plus or minus acres of land containing two historic beehive kilns located on Deep Hollow, Ro Hollow Road, the property from Deep Hollow Game Preserve LLC, pursuant to a donation agreement. And whereas paragraph 4.3 of the donation agreement permits the town of Amenia to conduct a phase one environmental review of the property as part of its due diligence inspections. And whereas the town board of the town of Amenia retains the engineering services of Labella Association's DPC, Labella, to conduct the phase one environmental review of the property pursuant to paragraph 4.3 of the donation agreement. And whereas this is a type two action under the state environmental quality review act, CECRA, and therefore not subject to review under CECRA, and whereas the professional engineering services to be provided by Labella <coughs> to the town constitute professional services which are exempt from the bidding requirements under Gen General Municipal Law 103 and the Town of Amenia's procurement policy. Now therefore be it resolved as follows. One, the recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. The town board of the Town of Amenia has determined that this is a type two action under CECRA and therefore not subject to review under CECRA. Three, the town board of the town of Amenia determines that the engineering services to be provided by Labella constitute professional services which are exempt from the bidding requirements under general municipal law 103 and the town of Amenia's procurement policies. And that all being repeated, I'll get on that. Um, four, the town board of the town of Amenia hereby ratifies the proposal from Labella in the amount of $1,900 in accordance with the proposal dated August 8th, 2024 for engineering services to conduct the phase one environmental review of the property pursuant to paragraph 4.3 of the donation agreement, a copy of which is annexed here too. Five, the town board of the town of Amenia hereby ratifies the town supervisor's execution of the annexed proposal from Labella to conduct the phase one environmental review of the property. Six, the town board of the town of Amenia hereby authorizes the payment for said engineering services in the amount of $1,900 to be paid from the engineering budget line. And I don't know what the number is, so you'll have to. Do you know? I can tell. Oh, isn't that amazing? Did I take my budget out? I might have taken my budget out, but engineering line. Okay. We only have one. Yeah, I know we only have one. So we can fill that in. The engineering line, it's coming Which from the engineering line. We only have one, so we can just say that without the number, right? The engineering line? Do you know the number of the engineering line? Of course you do. Tell us which one we're using. Okay, I make that motion. We I second. Pam. Supervisor Blackman? Yes. Council members Revelard? Yes. Pam? Yes. Winters? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Another bunch of okay. Yes, please take 95. Uh, resolution number 95 of 2024, ratifying contract with title company to conduct a title search and provide title insurance <clears throat> in connection with the donation of the land and kiln situated thereon from Deep Hollow Game Preserve, LLC. Whereas the town of, town of Amenia Town Board by resolution number 91 of 2024 adopted a, on August 1, 2024, authorized the acceptance of a donation of a 0.29 acres of land containing two historic beehives lo kilns located on Deep Hollow Road to property from Deep Hollow Game Preserve, LLC, pursuant to a donation agreement. And whereas the paragraph five uh, the donation agreement permits the town of Amenia to conduct a title search and obtain title insurance for the property. And whereas the town town board of the town of Amenia retains the services of real property abstract and title services, RPATs, to conduct a title search and provide a title insurance for the 
property pursuant to paragraph five of the donation agreement and where is a type, this is a type two action under the CICRA and therefore not subject to review under CICRA and where is the service to be provided by RPATS to the town constitutes professional services which are exempt from bidding requirements under general municipal law 103 and the town of Amenia procurement policy. Now therefore it be resolved as follows. The recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as it fully set forth and adopted herein. The town board of town of Amenia has adopted that this, that this is a type two action under CICRA and therefore not subject to review under CICRA. The town board of the town of Amenia determines that the services to be provided by RPATS constitute professional services which are exempt from the bidding requirements under general municipal law 103 in town of Amenia procurement policy, sounds like I just said all this That's for the second time. The town board of town of Amenia that. hereby ratify, uh, ratifies the contract with RPATS in the amount of 1,857 in accordance with the proposal dated to conduct a title search and provide title insurance for the property pursuant to paragraph five of the donation agreement, a copy of which is annexed here too. Town Board of Town of Amenia hereby ratifies the town supervisor execution of annex contract with our pass to conduct title search and provide title insurance for the property pursuant to the paragraph five donation agreement. The Town Board Town of Amenia hereby authorizes payment for said services in amount of 1,857 to be paid from, we don't know. Oh, that's a good question. We didn't do that. The, uh, the, uh, the title like search for the kilns? Where should it come from? Yeah, where should it come from? I would also have a company as well. Yeah, I mean, that Keep does seem line. close enough. Yeah. It is for pro professional services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now we even have the number. And I will. Uh, Engineering services. And I you're will, moving that? I will make that motion. Paul. Great. Paul, second. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Supervisor Blackman? Yes. Council members Revelard? Yes. Pam? Yes. Winters? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Um, before we get started on resolution number 96, yep. uh, since this has to do with Troutbeck, um, uh -huh. at the beginning of this year, I excused myself, excused myself from anything concerning Troutbeck, so I'm going to join the audience okay. while you guys have this discussion. Okay. Well, we'll miss you. Um, okay. Uh, do I'll you want to try this one, Rosanna? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Resolution number 96 of 2024, authorizing the acceptance of a conservation easement in the connection with a special permit approval for the Troutbeck Adaptive Reuse Plan. Whereas pursuant to Town of Amina Zoning Law 121-14.2, Troutbeck Holdings LLP, the applicant, has applied to the Town of Amina Planning Board for the special permit for an adaptive reuse plan to preserve the historic historic character and to re reuse and expand the use of buildings and property, the project locating at, located at 515 Leedsville Road in the town of Amina, Dutchess County, New York. Tax parcel number 13200726700227675, the project site, and whereas the project consists of the adaptive reuse of a historic property used as lodging, conference facility, and restaurant with accessory uses consisting of eight phases of development or redevelopment that will result in the expansion of the existing uses with each phase of the project requiring separate site plan approval by the planning board. And whereas in September 2021, the applicant submitted an application to the planning board for a special permit for the project that included a conservation analysis and an adapt, adaptate, adaptive reuse plan as required by zoning law number 121-14.2, one, three, and four. Whereas on February 9th, 2022, the planning board adopted finding conservation findings based on historic preservation and conservation analysis identifying over 50% of the lands on the project site as having the most conservation value and that should be permanently protected from development by conservation easement. The lands on the site specifically include an open water pond, wetlands and wetland buffer, stream corridors including the Weebatuck Creek which lies in a scenic protection overlay district, 
existing vegetative buffers along the project site perimeter together with scenic areas highly visible to the public or from off-site including but not limited to lands in the SPO district and other lands on the site which exhibit attractive rural and historic qualities existing agricultural land and prime agricultural soils, steep slope areas, and forested, forested animal areas, including numerous mature tree species and specimen trees. If you get bored, someone else can carry on. <laughs> just, just say the word. And whereas the conservation findings recognize that pr preservation of these lands by conservation easement will permanently protect important scenic, natural resource, and other values that are integral to the historic character of Troutbeck and the surrounding area. And whereas, as required by zoning law number 121-14.21 and 5, Troutbeck provided a draft conservation easement, a copy of which is annexed here to and made part and made a part hereof for the pres preservation of 54 0.2% of the total land area of the parcel by a conservation and or historic preservation easement based on the conservation and historic preservation analysis. The lands included in the easement were identified by the planning board in the conservation findings made pursuant of zoning law number 121-20 based on the applicant's historic preservation and conservation analysis. Additional lands have been included in the proposed conservation easement to avoid any impacts to an archeologically sensitive area of the project site that was identified based on a review of the project by New York Historic Preservation Office. And whereas one condition required prior to issuance of any building permit for any phase of the project, the applicant shall provide proof that a conservation easement has been filed in the Dutchess County Clerk's Office, and whereas the applicant desires to declare, create, and convey to the Town of Amenia a conservation easement placing certain <coughs> limitations and affirmative obligations on the protected property in order that the protected property shall remain substantially in its natural condition in perpetuity, and whereas the Town of Amenia is a public body within the meaning of Article 49, Title III of the Environmental Conservation Law and is qualified to hold a conservation easement under Article 49, Title III, and whereas both the applicant and the town of Amenia desire to preserve the character of the protected property in perpetuity by entering into a conservation easement pursuant of the provisions of Article 49, Title III and the Environmental Conservation Law. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. The recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. The town board hereby determines that it is the best interest of the residents of the town of Amenia to accept a conservation easement from the applicant pursuant to Article 49, Title III of the Environmental Con Conservation Law. The town supervisor is hereby authorized to execute the conservation easement and all exhibits on behalf of the town of Amenia in substantially the same form as annexed hereto and upon review of the attorney to the town. The town supervisor is fur further authorized to take all necessary action and directed to execute any and all documents to implement the provisions of this resolution. I so move. <laughs> I'll second. Great. Supervisor Blackman? Yes. Council members Reverlord? Yes. Ham? Yes. Ahern? Yes. And you, I'm um, going to say Winters is abstaining. I received myself anything to talk about. Here. Okay, Nicole, do you want to do 97? 97. It's only a bit. Oh, no, it's printed on the back, too, but it's still not horrible. <laughs> Authorizing the supervisor to execute a five-year extension contract for ambulance service with Northern Duchess Paramedics, Inc. Whereas the town of Northeast, Amenia, and Dover entered into an ambulance service agreement with Northern Ju Duchess Paramedics, Inc., NDP, a full-service medical transportation corporation with offices located at P.O. Box 672 Three Hook Road, Rhinebeck, New York 12572, 
on or about December 9th of 2019. And whereas this agreement by its terms expires on December 31st, 2024, and whereas paragraph 13 of the agreement provides in relevant part that the towns shall have the right to renew the agreement upon the terms and conditions as provided for in the agreement for an additional period of either one, three, or five years with a 4% increase in the annual subsidy for one year, 3% for three years, and 2% for five years. And whereas paragraph 13 of the agreement provides that the town may exercise its option by notifying NDP in writing by certified mail return receipt requested 60 days prior to the expiration of the agreement of its decision to renew the agreement and that upon the town's exercise of its option to renew the parties agreed to execute either a new agreement containing new terms or a memorandum agreement extending the modified terms of this agreement for the additional period. And whereas the supervisor and attorney to the town have met with the supervisor and attorneys to the towns of Northeast and Dover and have agreed subject to the approval of the town's respective town boards to exercise the option for renewal of the agreement for a period of five years with an increase in the annual subsidy of 2% for the five year period. And whereas the town board has reviewed the existing agreement and has been provided with legal advice from the attorney to the town and has been notified that the towns of Northeast and Dover will obtain, will be obtaining approvals by resolution of their respective town boards for renewal of the agreement for the three municipalities for a five year period. Now, therefore, be it resolved as follows. One, the recitations set forth above are incorporated in this resolution as if fully set forth and adopted herein. Two, the town board of the town of Amini hereby authorizes the town supervisor with the assistance of the attorney to the town to notify Northern Duchess Paramedics Inc. of the town's intention to exercise their option to renew the agreement with Northern Duchess Paramedics Inc. for a period of five years as provided for in the existing agreement. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Did anybody have, did you have a question? Hmm? Did you want to say something? Uh, no. I mean, oh, it, it's, okay. We've had this contract for five years. It expires this year. Right. And we negotiated it last time with Dover and with uh, the town, with the town of Northeast uh, at the direction of Dutchess County. They sort of recommended that. And so we're basically trying to do that again. Yeah. So are, are we, are, are there like, so if I'm reading this right, you're going to need to option, you're going to exercise options that are available to us in the contract that was written before? Is that yes, how, that, that, that's, that's how, okay. the intent. Supervisor Blackman? Uh, yes. Council members Revelard? Yes. Cam? Yes. Winters? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Okay. Uh, do we have any other matters? Other um, yeah. transfer funds. I can, I can do this. Oh, jeez. Sorry, thank you. Resolution 98. Well, Brad didn't get one. Oh, okay, go ahead, Brad. You want to read it? This one? Yeah, do you want to do that? Sure. It's resolution 98. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait a minute. It's here. Here. 90. Here. Does he have it? I didn't think I got this okay. one. Okay. Um, my issue is seeing it, of course, so. Brad, you should like glue some glass. I usually I usually look at it very large on my oh, screen, I so I don't see it here. So I'll give it a shot. What the heck? Um, whereas the town board has the authority to transfer funds when necessary or unanticipated to amend the budget, and whereas the budget amendment in the general fund increase one six six zero four point oh one point oh seven four. Central Storeroom CE by $1,500 and the decrease 16204.01.059 Buildings CE Heat by $1,500 for unanticipated expenses. Whereas budget amendment in the general fund increase 16704.01.068 Central Print Mail Postage by $2,000 and decrease 80204.01.074 planning CE supplies by 1,000 and decrease 13554.01.074 assessor CE supplies by $1,000 to <coughs> reimburse central print mail line for post costs related to the planning and assessor's office. Whereas budget amendment in the general fund increase 
Public Safety Services by $1,257.75 and increase 30204.01 Public Safety Com Services by $1,257.75 for DC Sheriff Services for congrega Congregation Beth David. Now, therefore, it be resolved. The town board authorizes the transfer of necessary budget lines to process the transactions. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Supervisor Blackman? Uh, yes. Council members Rebelard? Yes. Ham? Yes. Winters? Yes. Ahern? Yes. Okay, now I can say other matters. Anyone have other matters? Um, I just got a little announcement for the uh, Wasake Ladies Auxiliaries um, down in Wasake there, the Blue Crew. Uh, they are doing a calendar for the month of October. Uh, there's 31 days of different gift certificates you can win, oil changes, um, some really good ones uh, for all the different restaurants around town, uh, nail salon, all the, all the great stuff for only 10 bucks. Uh, so you can either reach out to me or reach out to my wife, Michelle Winters. Um, she's on Facebook, or go to the uh, Wasaic Women's Auxiliary uh, face page, uh, Facebook page and uh, reach out to them. It's a good cause. Uh, they need the help down there. And like I said, it's only 10 bucks, and a lot of those gift certificates are for like 50 fifty dollars, and you got 31 chances to win. So donate to them. Thank you. I would just like to make a comment. You know, we have a great community that people are so generous to donate things for raffles. Um, they're, they're getting um, things for the uh, schoolhouse um, raffle as well, and people have just been very generous. So I would like to mention that. We are very lucky that we live in the community that we live in. Uh, I just wanted to add a little bit to what you said about the DOT. I did meet with them um, with uh, Dr. Jen Scully and some of the staff at Maple Brook, and um, it was very frustrating. After all this time, they have finally said they have to do a study. They're setting up a study with Maple Brook um, after the school opens. Um, September 8th, they'll come out and observe um, the crossings. Um, and they said it has to meet their criteria. Um, would not, said they cannot tell us what the criteria are. So we have no <laughs> idea what they're gonna be using. And if we pass, it would take years before it could actually be done. Um, I checked with Millerton. So what we're looking for are those little flashing lights in between the signs. If you go through Millerton, you see them. Um, they're just little horizontal things. Uh, they're solar. And um, so I spoke with the people in Millerton. They actually got money um, elsewhere and had it um, had put them in themselves. Um, they have four. I went to Millerton today, actually. Leo, I thought there was only three, but there's four of them, at four of their crosswalks, and it was $66,000 for the four of them. So, you know, if you divide that by, you know, that's still a considerable amount of money. Um, so we may have to look elsewhere. Um, we were just kind of waiting from an email from, um, but it will still have to be done by permit through DOT, Leo. Okay. All right, um, so. That's that. The other thing I wanted to ask about, and I'll ask Charlie, because he was doing the website, how long do you think it'll be before we have an alert system set up? So um, it would be uh, implemented as part of a new website, and uh, the hope is that before the end of the year, the, a new website would be up, because okay. that's when our contract with Dutchess County ends. Okay, so I wanted to um, just mention that, um, so, so that, so it's not a long period of time, because I spoke with uh, Robert from the business office that we were called today, and said that they could accommodate us, and it, um, but I don't think that's going to be necessary then. Yeah, I mean the truth is the big part of it is people signing up for it. So right. um, I guess if they can segment off um, and people can sign up to that and we just you know move those email addresses and phone numbers over but it should be just a couple of months i plan on having proposals at the next town board meeting okay. uh, from vendors for you guys to review great yeah. thank you anyone else have a matter oh we're going to be out I, here by eight o'clock i have a couple things um oh, okay don't, don't drag it out there uh, I'll try. I'll try not to. So it's, it's my understanding that uh, the ongoing project in question about the available water at Fountain Square has been resolved. Sorry about the 
the water at Fountain Square. Oh, yes. It's been resolved, so the spigot is now working. And the enhancement committee is truly grateful for that. The second one is kind of on a personal note. Um, I'd like to announce the birth of Rowan Brad Rebelard. So on August 7th, so I'm officially a grandfather. So. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? That's it. I, 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 that's on that first. Yeah. Oh, exciting. <laughs> it's always fun. Oh, I yeah. became a grandpa this year. It was exciting. Last year, actually. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. All right. OK. Um, so uh, any Tad Ward comments beyond what we just did? No. I don't know. I don't know how that's different from other matters. No. It's listed that way. Um, OK. Then I guess I, I, I will good. make a motion to adjourn. Yeah. I'll second. <laughs> Amen. Have a good night, everybody. Yeah, All this right. is a this is a new <laughs> record. I think. Wait, we have to vote. Yes. Yes. Hmm? yes. Yes. Council members yes. all yes. Yes. Okay. Yay. I can turn off the microphone. Yes. Boom.